1950, German gynecologist Ernst Grafenberg described an erotic zone on the front wall of the vagina along the course of the urethra. He observed that this area swells during sexual stimulation and reaches its maximum at the moment of orgasm. This area was named the Grafenberg spot, later shortened to the G-spot. The G-spot is usually described as a sensitive area on the front wall of the vagina, a few centimeters inside. Some research places it near the urethra or close to the vaginal opening. Many women report that stimulating this specific area is highly pleasurable. It is often described as feeling bumpy or requiring direct pressure. Applying pressure from the lower abdomen can intensify the sensation. The existence of the G-spot as a distinct, separate anatomical structure is controversial in the medical and scientific community. Most studies published so far about the G-spot favor its existence, but there is substantial disagreement even between these. This disagreement starts with its location. Most authors describe it as a sub-urethral structure, but some place its location in the vulva. Since there is no single specific spot that accounts for all these responses, it is likely that stimulation of the anterior vaginal wall during sexual activity affects several nearby tissues. These include the internal parts of the clitoris, particularly the crura and vestibular bulbs, the urethra, and Skene's glands, also known as the female prostate. Together, these structures are sometimes referred to as the clitorethrovaginal CUV complex. Rather than being a single anatomical point, this combined area may function as a distinct erotogenic zone. Experiences vary greatly. Not everyone finds this area sensitive, and not all women require G-spot stimulation to achieve orgasm. For those who find it sensitive, G-spot stimulation can be a source of deep, intense pleasure and a route to a specific type of orgasm often called a vaginal orgasm or coital orgasm. Also, a lack of pleasure from G-spot stimulation is completely normal, as the most sensitive erogenous zone for most women is the external part of the clitoris. Do men have a G-spot? In non-medical contexts, the prostate is sometimes labeled the male G-spot or P-spot. The prostate is a walnut-sized gland located internally, situated just under the bladder and surrounding the urethra. The prostate produces a milky fluid, which makes up about 25 to 30 percent of the volume of semen. The primary role of the prostate is to support reproduction by nourishing, protecting, and helping transport sperm, as well as contributing to urinary control. It is not considered a pleasurable anatomical structure on its own. In medical anatomy, there is no structure officially called a male G-spot. The term is sometimes used informally online to describe the prostate, but it is not a scientific classification. People experience their bodies differently, and adults make personal choices based on their own values and circumstances. Our goal here is not to judge behavior but to clarify anatomy and medical language. So, do men have a G-spot? The short answer is no. Men do not have a G-spot in the same way women do. And it's also important to note that even not all women experience sensitivity or specific sensations in the area commonly referred to as the G-spot, as human anatomy and perception vary from person to person. Understanding anatomy helps us replace myths with knowledge. Our goal is education, so people can make informed, respectful choices based on facts, not trends.